Hello everybody and welcome to the start of a new series here for the Around the World Playthrough Challenge. We are playing as Persia and last time we were online we finished our Ottomans game and unfortunately it resulted in a space race loss against Persia, funny enough, and now we get to play Persia. They were next up in line. So uh, we did some rolls here on the Seven Seas map and found ourselves a lovely little wonder start with Gobustan and I have got some fun ideas I'm going to share here as we get started. Before we talk about the actual start and settling and what our plan might be, I'm going to go over Cyrus's abilities and we'll talk about, you know, what he's good at and what we're going to try and focus on in this game. So let's all go say hi to Cyrus. Hi, Cyrus. All right. Here are Cyrus's abilities for the Persian Empire. Uh, his first one, the leader ability, is Fall Babylon. Plus two mo uh, movement for the first ten turns after declaring a surprise war on a major civilization. Okay. Uh, plus five loyalty per turn in occupied cities with a garrisoned unit. That's good if you want to go on domination. Uh, declaring a surprise war only counts as a formal war for the purpose of grievances and warmongering. Uh, and then we've got satrapies, which is plus one trade route capacity with political philosophy. That's really nice. You get two early trade routes, one with political philosophy and one with uh, currency. And then we have... Um, Receive plus two gold and plus one culture for routes between your own cities. Roads built in your territory are one level more advanced than usual. So not only are your roads better, uh, so your units can move faster, but you also are receiving really nice yields from internal trade routes. Those are typically safer because they're not crossing out into, you know, out in the fog, po possibly running into enemies or barbs uh, or natural disasters. So it's really nice to have those yields on internal trade routes, and we'll probably focus a lot on those as well to develop our culture. We have the Immortal, which is a Persian unique melee unit that replaces the Swordsman, and it is a melee class unit with a ranged attack, which is really nice. Uh, it has a range of two and strong defense strength, so very, very good unit. And then we've got the Crown Jewel of Persia, the Paradesa. Uh, unlocks the builder ability to construct a Paradesa unique to Persia, gives you plus one culture and plus two gold and also plus one appeal it used to be plus two appeal but that has since been nerfed with the april patch and it's down to plus one now so you got to think a little bit more carefully about where you're placing your paradises uh, plus one culture for each adjacent holy site and theater square and then plus one gold for each adjacent commercial hub and city center additional culture and tourism as you advance through the technology and civics tree cannot be built on snow tundra, snow hills, or tundra hills, or adjacent to another paradise. So, there we go. Awesome abilities with Cyrus. One of the better civs in the game, I think, and a lot of fun to play. So, let's talk about our start here and our strategy. Does that sound good? Hello, your chicks. Good to see you. Mrs. Foible saying hi to everybody. That's nice of you. Thanks, honey. I appreciate that. Hey, Professor Rahman. Welcome in. So, uh, we've got ourselves a nice little wonder start here with Gobustan, the mud volcanoes. Very fun. Uh, we've also got some nice luxuries here with the silk, and we've got about 11 hills. So I did a search before, and it counted 11 hills for us. Uh, keep in mind, we're on a 7 seas map minus one player, and um, we've got a nice river start here. we got some mountains, and here's my plan. So we've already gotten the boost to astrology by finding Gobustan, right? So if we really wanted to, we could jump right into astrology and go for a religion. And here's why. I'm going to try and build zero theater squares. I'm going to crew no great works. And I'm only going to generate tourism off of tile improvements. Tile improvements include our unique improvement, the Paradesa, any unique improvement from a city-state that provides tourism, or uh, other things that you can do throughout the game, including national parks, seaside resorts, and even building green energy, like wind farms and solar farms, if you build the biosphere, because that will give tourism off of those as well. That counts as a tile improvement. So that's going to be our focus on the game. I'm not going to build any uh, theater squares. I'm not going to generate any great people points for great works. I'm not going to get any relics. If I accidentally get a relic or get a relic by chance, I will sell it. I'll get rid of it, because we're only going to get tourism off of our tile improvements. And yes, national parks count as a tile improvement because you are improving the land around it. You're trying to increase the appeal of your land. So that, to me, counts as a tile improvement. Plus, in the Civ Wiki, they call it a unique tile improvement. So uh, that's going to be our strategy. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this and probably a few headaches <laughs> trying to figure things out. 
But the reason why I want to go religion first is to try and get choral music. Because choral music goes super fast with the AI. They love to grab it. And if I rush a prophet and religion, I should be able to snag it, and we can get some extra culture off of our holy site buildings, which will be very nice. Uh, for a pantheon, I'm thinking I might even go with Goddess of Festivals if we do find a few other plantation resources, because getting double culture on the silk would be very nice. And we're going to focus on internal trade routes. Uh, we have some city-states that will help us with boosting our trade route yields, but by doing that, we're going to increase our culture and gold generation just within our safe internal trade routes. Uh, so that'll probably be an early focus for us as well. And that's the plan. That's kind of the plan I got. Now, as far as the ATW challenge goes, you guys can do whatever you want. You don't have to play the exact same way I do. You can go science. You can go domination. You can go pure religion if you wanted to and convert the world. It doesn't matter to me. Um, what matters to me is that you play it and have fun. That's all I care about. So that's kind of my plan. You guys can follow along and try it with me if you want, or you can do your own thing. It's completely up to you. If you're new here, by the way, you can join us on Discord in the link down in my video description where you can grab our game keys and settings. I've screenshotted and shared all the details that you need in Discord in the Challenge Keys channel. And you can go in there, grab it, and play the exact same start here with us and let us know how you do. That's kind of the point of the ATW Challenge, so it's a lot of fun. You could also use the belief that gives one science for every four followers since no campuses. Um, I can build campuses. I'm just not going to build theater squares. Because we're not going to get... Um, I, I'm still going to generate great people from other sources, right? I'm just not going to get any great people for uh, great works, like great works of writing or art or music, or I'm not going to get any relics or artifacts or anything like that. I'm not going to get tourism off of those. I'm only going to get tourism off of my tile improvement. So I'm not going to build theater squares, but I can build other things, like campuses, commercial hubs, encampments, industrial zones, whatever else. Just no theater squares. That's kind of the goal. Does that make sense? Okay. No, it's all good. It's all good. We should have fun with this. It's going to be a, fun, a, a little bit of a challenge. Just so you know, I do have two game modes on as well. We have Secret Societies, and we have Monopolies and Corporations. So uh, just keep that in mind as well if you guys do decide to start playing. There's also one for culture, but I don't know if it would make a difference. Oh, a great scientist? Do they... Wait. Oh, yeah, the religious belief for culture? Oh, I, I, that's what you're meaning. Okay. Yeah, I believe there's one, but we'll uh, check that out in a little while. All right, as far as the start goes, I'm pretty happy with the starting location where I'm at to settle. Um, and the game even recommends it as well. We're going to get an achievement for settling near Gobustan. And I'm going to rush Astrology and get a nice plus five Holy Site down right away. And we should have enough production to uh, get that built relatively quickly. I'm also going to try and improve this maze so I can boost Irrigation to get the Silk improved faster. And then hopefully we can get ourselves a Choral Music Religion. We'll see what we can do. I haven't had Choral Religion in a very long time. All right, let's plop her down. There we go. Starting out the game with plus six error score. Hard to beat that, right? All right, let's jump straight into astrology. Get ourselves a nice, fancy religion. We're also going to lock in that silk tile and I'll generate that extra culture for sure. And get a scout going. Uh, now, as far as the governor goes, I'm not going to go for hermetic order. Uh, I believe I will be going for... Um, for Owls of Minerva to get those extra card slots. Plus, they have a unique bank that gives you culture for the adjacency of your commercial hub. So uh, that's another source of culture we can use outside of theater squares. Yeah, it's a nice spicy holy side. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to grab Pingala in the start here. He'll help us get through the civics and techs a little bit faster with the extra science and culture. I don't have really enough chops here, I think, to justify getting Magnus. But uh, maybe in another city. We'll see. Oh, look at that. We've actually got a nice little mountain range here. Uh, I won't be able to settle on this part of the river again, but that's okay. I'll just have the capital kind of take up all these tiles here. So seven seas. We will have some spots of coast, probably some lakes, some decent land masses as well. And hopefully enough to uh, allow us to spread around a little bit. We'll see what happens. Got more silk. That's good. 
That's a nice tile there, too. Very nice tile. Okay. I believe I'm going to send this guy north. Oh, wow, those mountains. Okay, so we're going to be a bit isolated here. I kind of like that. At least for this a little bit right here. I'm going to double scout it here. Astrology's done in seven turns now. Oh my god, desert? But hey, Goblustan is completely open to us. We can get three holy sites around it if we plan our cities well. That'd be really nice. And we've got Tundra down here, so hopefully there's nobody south of us. Hopefully there's nobody south. I doubt there would be, unless it's Canada. But hopefully there's a barb camp down that way. Alright, so here's our initial swath of land. Not too bad. I wouldn't mind some more fresh water, but uh, I guess you can't complain too much when you have a Wonder Star, right? Alright, we got another scout. I'm going to send the scout this way. And I'm actually going to build a warrior, and then we'll start working on our settler. Oh, hey. Ooh. Oh, we've got some nice campus yields over here. Holy. That might end up being my next, uh, my next city spot, too, because it's fresh water. Goodness gracious. All right. We want to get to our paradises pretty quickly. I want to start building those to get some extra culture and gold. Um, I haven't run into any barbs yet. Hmm. I think I'll play it safe. Just keep the barb card on just in case. You never know. Yeah, we got two decent campus spots there. Unfortunately, the capital can't reach it. Which is too bad. Let's see what's this way. Oh my gosh, it's just complete blockage right there. That's nice though, because I don't mind being a little isolated. I'm kind of an isolationist anyways. Oh, that's not a first meet on Brussels though. So there's definitely somebody over this way. Guess we'll find out who soon. I don't believe in astrology. All right. And uh, we got sailing and met the uh, Void Singers. Oh, look at that. Crazy mountains. All right, so I want to get down my holy site real quick. I think I'm going to finish this warrior first, though. And then we'll zoom on to religion. We may even actually just be one city for a little while. Oops. Dang, I didn't mean to grab my timer like that. Let me fix this real quick. My timer got grabbed and made large. Didn't want it. Don't want a large timer. Inca tier spawn. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. I think the Inca would... Yeah, look at that. It's, we're completely blocked off this way. That's really nice, actually. Going super isolationist. We've got some nice spots here for holy sites and campuses. That makes me very happy. Very, very happy. So Brussels was not a first meet. I wonder who met you first. I wonder, wonder. What's in a wonder ball? All right, now I just need to worry about what's up north. So maybe I send my warrior over there for a little bit. All right. Holy sight. Oh, look at this. Um, what if I just worked the two, three culture tiles? No, I need the production. I really do. We'll keep that locked on, but we're getting a lot of culture from that. We're about to absorb all of Gobustan into our capital organically, too. That's pretty nutty. All right, you can come up north as well. Gotta rush that religion, get ourselves some choral music. I love me some music and chorals. I didn't know choral could sing, but apparently it can. Bunch. Sorry. Can't help it. Or maybe I can, and I just don't want to. <laughs> Oh, hi, China. He's a bit of a culture competitor. How's it going, Kinshi Huang? Good to see you. Can we be friends? You're a little close, actually. I'm going to be settling this way first, that's for sure. I'm thinking of actually settling on top of that geothermal. Because then I can get 
Hmm. So I could technically get three really good campuses here if I plan this well. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just go with a city here, campus here, and holy site there. I think we should pin that as well. Or actually... Hmm, because I can get a good holy site up here, too. If I wanted to go the holy site route, I can get holy sites around here. And then... Oh, that's a continent split, too. Hmm. I think it would be best for me to just settle right here on the freshwater. Because not only will I get a continent split settle, I'll also get a volcano settle. So that's lots of era score. I know it's taking up a spot that could potentially have multiple campuses, but I think I'd rather have the holy site over there, settle a little bit closer to China, get the fresh water, um, get a decent harbor too, which wouldn't be bad. And then, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You gonna go color now? Thanks, honey. Have a good night. So settle on this side, on this hill, and then we can make this a Petra. Hmm. Maybe we do push that subtle a little bit more. So we could go, like, right here. And then we do a campus right there. That's a plus five. Do a harbor here. And then I can possibly get another campus here. From another city, like, I don't know, somewhere over here. Maybe I do, like, a mountain block right here and really isolate myself. And then I can just aqueduct. Too close to city or blocked by terrain? Oh, it's too close to that one. Wow, I love that the pins tell me that. That's so nice. I love that. Then I guess we can't do a true block, but we'll have to settle like, I don't know, maybe like right there. Which isn't bad. So I can still settle over this way too. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of on a pinning spree right now. And then we can get a holy site here. And I could actually still get the campuses, or the capital's campus right there too. And then maybe I just put like the government plaza right here. Oh gosh, we're on a roll now. Um... And this would be a great spot for a Paradesa because I can also put the Capital's Commercial Hub right here. Because it's next to the city center, it's next to Holy Site, and it's next to Commercial Hub, which is like the perfect setup for that. I kind of like that. Ooh, yeah. The far geothermal is better. So you're saying settle on the far geothermal, like right here. Maybe that would be better. I mean, it puts us right on the volcano. But I guess that's okay. Makes the harbor a lot better. And then, I can also do a commercial hub. Hmm, maybe that is better. And then I could bring this city a little bit closer and block that gap. Just like that. You know? I'll worry about that city later. It's not a big deal. But I do want to get multiple nice holy sites around. Lots of plus fours. Plus four, plus four, plus four. Or plus five, plus four, plus five, plus four, plus four. <whistles> Lovely. And then the closest I can settle to Brussels would be right there. So I think I'm going to push this way a bit more because we got these mountains blocking us. I need to settle towards China. And then we'll be good to go. Yeah, this city's uh, holy site will be there. That one right there. Then I can get another city up here for this holy site. The only thing we're sacrificing here is potentially putting... Uh, preserves around this to increase the yields, but that to me is not as important as getting nice holy sites down. Um, also, it removes the opportunity for us to build a national park around it, but that's okay. I think we can live with that. So, let's keep an eye on China. Let's settle this way. 
We'll get the volcano settle and the continent split there, which is really nice. I didn't know we had a continent split. Um, and then this city will be set up and ready to go. We'll have this city's campus and holy site. We'll have this city's holy site and campus somewhere. Might just do something like this. You know what I mean? One of these two cities is going to have to have Liang in it, or else these will keep getting pillaged by the volcanoes. Cool, cool, cool. I like that plan so far. Let's focus on this area, and then we'll come back and worry about this area later, because these mountains are keeping us away from anybody else, so we'll be good to go. Yeah, that is kind of surprising that the continent split isn't near the mountain range, unless there's another continent this way, but if there is, I haven't discovered it. I guess this mountain range is is what it's looking at for the continent split, right? There's some mountains here, so I guess that makes sense. Don't you guys love these extended map tacks with the yields, and they update, and they tell you if you're too close to a city and all that? It's so nice. It's super, super nice. Cool. I like this plan. We'll figure out what's going on up here. We'll worry about this area later. We'll probably do some coastal city setups. We do have um, a reef here that we can get multiple campuses around if we wanted to. So we'll keep that in mind. Excuse me. Dr. Pepper Perp. All right. Any cards we want to change? Probably not. I think we're good. Sorry for doing that uh, planning, but I guess that was... That was helpful for me to kind of get a plan in mind. Hopefully he'll be friendly and doesn't forward settle me. Once I get this spot, we should be okay for for the rest of these. Let's go check out his land, though. I'm curious. Oh, another reef right there, too. Oh my gosh, we can go so isolationist here. It's not even funny. We can go super isolationist. Just completely wall ourselves off here. That camp spot is better than the reef one. The city will have that holy site and that campus. Geothermers are usually the sign of a split. Ah, gotcha. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. China smacks an off freshwater city right in the middle of all that planning. They better not, or else I will build immortals. That will not be nice. No man ever will. Wow. <laughs> Super cut off from everybody. Oh, that's funny. But I think I can make this work, guys. I think this will be fun. Really excited to get this working. All right. Um, so we haven't gotten our gotten to gold yet for a builder. But what I can do is start working on irrigation if I wanted to. So that way, when we boost it, it'll just instantly get it while we're working on other stuff, yeah? It's like get it down to two or one. I mean, if he were to come settle, it would probably be, like, right over here, which doesn't really interrupt too much of our plans, which is good. Oh, he's had some floods, though. All right, we got our holy site down. Let's start working on prayers, because nobody else is, and we can probably get choral music. Guys, this is awesome. Much excite, such wow. All right, I think I'm going to send the scout off and keep the warrior nearby. Probably around this area, too, so I can keep an eye on it. All right, let's find his capital. Where are you? Where are you, Kinshi Huang? I wonder if anybody's called him Kinshi Huang. <laughs> Pantheon time. Oh, what? The settler Pantheon is actually available. Yeah, all these mountains are going to be great for national parks. That is one good thing about that. 
We're going to get some dang good national parks around those mountains. You can bet your bottom. Just your bottom. Just bet your bottom. All along here, national parks. Mm -hmm. Where are you putting the theater squares? Ha! No theater squares. No. None. Zero. All right. Um, questions. We must answer questions. The questions being... Uh, well, actually, it's just one question. Um, what is the question? And I'm referring to what pantheon? You'd take the settler? Yeah, I would love to go forward settle China, especially because we're working on a profit right now. It would be good to get this settled down right away, you know? And uh, well, I never usually see this. We're actually really lucky to be seeing this. Usually the AI grabs it so fast. But it would be good to get this spot secure so China doesn't come forward, settle us, right? And ruin our, our beautiful plans here. The other option would be uh, God, Goddess of Festivals, culture from plantations. It would double the culture on these silks. But to be honest, I'm actually not seeing a ton of silk. If there were like maybe double this amount, if there was six, that would be, that would be nice. But I'm not seeing it, so I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to do it. Giga Chad spawn. Yeah, that's me. I'm Giga Chad. <laughs> Giga Chad, roll out. And if I wanted to, I could put another city right here and block this spot too. <laughs> oh, I'm such a Chad. All right, let's get the settler. I think that's the best option for us here. Since we can't build a settler right now because we're focusing on profit, we'll uh, send the free one out. Giga Chad, roll out. Hopefully in a little bit we'll get our first builder bot. Oh, hey. Scotland may fall with. Okay. Here's one thing I really hope for the next Civ game. And I'm just saying this not just because I met Scotland, but just in general. With the leaders, I really hope they can use motion capture technology and just get the emotions out of people that are acting as the leaders. I would love to have really, really dynamic leader animations. And um, that way, you know, we've got some really nice, um, just really nice leader animations. Look at this. We can completely block ourselves off here. We could get to the other side too because there is a river flowing through these mountains. This is nuts, guys. Yeah, I think grabbing the settler was a good a good idea. All right, so Scotland's actually up that way. I'm going to bring my warrior back. He doesn't need to keep scouting. Hey, but we get the bagpipes now, which is nice, right? The only worry I have is this volcano going off and just killing our, uh, our settler. That would be mega sad. Hello, Granada. Nice. Meeting Granada is nice because I want to be able to Build their Alcazars. Alcazars. All right, how are we on profit stuff now? Other people are working on profit, so I think I'm going to do maybe another project here. Honestly, guys, I'm hardcoring this. I want to get choral music. I really want to get it because I never get it, and it would be perfect for us to get extra culture. What are you building? Pyramids? You are building pyramids. No, what is that? Hold on. Does it not say? Pyramids, there it is. It didn't update. That was weird. Oh, perfect. A little goody hut for us. Oh, the volcano's active. Oh, shiza. We need to settle fast. Guys, the volcano is active. Please don't. Cross your fingers, everybody. Not always the best option, but never bad, yeah. Buy a trader? Um, I don't have a trader available yet, do I? Oh, I do have a trader available. I was going to buy a builder um, to get the maze improved so we can boost our irrigation and get the silk improved. Um, and maybe we can start to see a monopoly here or starting to get, you know, extra tourism from that. But I don't know. Maybe I will. I need to get the city settled first because I want to do internals. I think I'm going to go with the Builder before the Settler. 
or not settler, before the uh, trader. China building pyramids. What a shock. Ah, oh, there's our timer. All right. Um, I guess we'll have to wait till the next episode to see if this uh, settler is going to die from the volcano. <laughs> it better not. Oh, imagine if it did. All right. Hold, hold on to your butts until we get to the next episode. Thanks for watching if you guys are on YouTube. I appreciate your support and watching our videos here on the channel. If you're enjoying the Around the World Challenge, be sure to like this video and comment below if you're playing along with us to tell us how your games are going. And if you're new, you can grab the game links and, and game settings for this exact same start in my Discord server down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.